What's going on, YouTube? This is to the 5.06. As you can see, still setting this mouth on something line. And yes, it was very concentrated. This may be the reason why I <laughs> had that issue with the uh, 5.06 to begin with. Um, and honestly, I don't know if this is just, you know, prior towards my car or, you know, if this is in any other 5.0, but nonetheless, <clears throat> needless to say, um, yeah, this looks pretty, pretty jacked up. Like, you can't even see the, um, the screen is that 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 screw. Nonetheless, people, um, I'm going to go ahead and replace this because I put the motor back together. Let me show you the hood thing. Nah, she got a name. I just choose to say it because of circumstances. Anyway, oh, anyway, anyway, this. Ladies and gentlemen, is my K frame. Why do you say it is my K frame on my garage on my mom's garage floor? Reason being in order to get to the oil pump or I mean the oil pan itself and to drop the oil pan and to get to the sump line, you have to, I repeat, you have to drop the K frame. You drop the K frame and this is Pretty much what your Mustang would look like with this K frame. Yes. Give y'all a better perspective. There's supposed to be wheels and a whole power steering system and everything right there, but you know. So, in order, like I said, to get that oil pump or that oil pan out, I had to literally drop the K frame. You know, support the uh the transmission. Don't worry, guys. I'm gonna put another support under here. I just I just freshly pulled pulled this out, and I grabbed my phone to you know give y'all the update. So, um, like I said, I literally like took the whole front end out of my Mustang. This car has been my ride or die, but um, nonetheless. Um, I'm going to order a new sump line. Uh, that oil pan is going to be cleaned out and painted. And I'll probably paint some other stuff under here. But nonetheless, um, this is the Mustang. Just to be uh, you know, this is what it looks like after I put everything back together. Um, new crankshaft, new main and uh, new main bearings, new crank bearings, new oil pump. Yes, I went and got new oil pump. I thought that was an issue. I try to go easy then hard, so this is hard right here. So yeah, hey, you know, just like you know, you see the see this uh, McFarland or you know the uh, Zulu Blue. I mean. When you got a craft or when you know what you're doing and you love what you're doing, this becomes a craft. This is, you know, a craft of mine. But this is pretty much a Mustang without its front wheels. If, and if I was to be able to ever see Cletus or, you know, um, Tony in or any of the greats that are great youtubers actually visit my channel and visit this um this video yeah you know I, hey i wouldn't have got here without you guys because you know y'all motivate the heck out of me um but that's side piece nonetheless like i said this is the update on the mustang the 5.0 and that damn 5.0 chick so um stay tuned I'm gonna keep it 100. This thing is probably ready to go 
As everything is everything is is ready to go by um this weekend. I might just modify that stop line or something. I'll keep you I post. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Nonetheless, hey. This is where we're at right now. So comment below if you um have any questions or concerns. You know, um <laughs> It's been a wild ride, but yeah, this is what we're at. So basically, just to get y'all caught up on what's going on, I uh, am. Yeah, over 30. Um, I um, uh, rebuilt my bottom half of my motor due to a horrendous hit. Um, which I dubbed the 5.0 tip. Uh, needless to say, um, we built the motor. Like I showed you guys, I did the crankshaft, whole new crankshaft, whole new, um, whole new main bearings, connector rod bearings, uh, one new piston, the cylinder five. But nonetheless, um, but, um I'll put the thing. no copying. No, I'm playing. <laughs> oh, I already drag above these. That's why the top part of my motor car scenario is yellow. But um, nonetheless, I uh, good all of that, and my dumbass did not replace my sump line. So what is a sump line? This thing right here. This, ladies and gentlemen, brings your oil from the oil pan itself up to the oil pump and pushes it back to the motor. And basically, the word I would use for this one is saying it's constipated. So yes, thank you. So, um, I'm going to go ahead, chances are kind of warm, I'm just going to go ahead and replace it. It's been all my life, but um, I'll keep y'all posted like an eighth, eighth out, let y'all know what's going to happen next. And sorry you guys have been asking me all the questions about what's been going on with the car. I've been working, I work two jobs, <laughs> you know, so, I mean, this the struggle is real. But nonetheless, um, I will keep y'all posted. Comment below on any comments, concerns, anything that you found out. Just keep us posted so we can get out through this together. So, um, yeah. Till next time.